channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to dive deep into the experiment of James Prescott Joule, a renowned scientist who gave us the concept of the mechanical equivalent of heat. The mechanical equivalent of heat is the amount of mechanical work required to produce a given amount of heat or in other way the amount of heat produced by the given amount of mechanical work. Let's have a historical look on this experiment. James Jules was born on December 24th, 1818 in Salford, England. James Jules showed a keen interest in physics from very early age. He was particularly interested in the study of heat and the connection between mechanical energy and thermal energy. Let's talk about his discovery. Throughout his life, Joule conducted various experiments to establish the mechanical equivalent of heat. He determined the mechanical equivalent of heat by performing a series of experiments using a pedal wheel apparatus. He arrived at the conclusion when a given amount of mechanical work is transformed into heat, the amount of heat produced is directly proportional to the mechanical work done. If I say in this in a very simpler term, Joule's law state that the amount of heat produced is proportional to the amount of work done while producing that heat. He expressed the concept mathematically using the formula J is equal to W over Q, where J is the mechanical equivalent of heat, W is the amount of work done and Q is the amount of heat produced. We know the energy and work units are joules. Interestingly, the proportionality constant obtained by joule, now known as the joules constant, is a fundamental physical constant used in thermodynamics. Let's talk about why this experiment is still important. Joule's work on the mechanical equivalent of heat laid the foundation for the first law of thermodynamics, which is the law of the conservation of energy. It is an essential principle that states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can only be converted from one form to another. Let's talk about the application of this experiment. Today, the mechanical equivalent of heat is used in various fields, including engineering, meteorology, geology. It is particularly useful in designing and building efficient engines and other energy conversion devices. Let's have a look what is the drawback or limitation of this experiment. In the mechanical equivalent of heat experiment, there is bound to be some energy loss due to friction or other factors and it is not a perfect process. In the ideal conditions, however, there would be no energy lost to the surrounding environment. This is because the experiment is designed to be conducted in a closed system where no energy can enter or exit the system but can only be transferred within it. If the experiment is performed in a perfectly insulated system where no heat can escape, then all the energy put in the system will be converted into mechanical work or vice versa, which is a fundamental principle of the mechanical equivalent of heat. However, we know that in practical application, it is impossible to create a completely closed system. If I want to conclude my video, I should say that James Prescott Joule's contribution to science cannot be understated. His discovery of the mechanical equivalent of heat remains a fundamental concept in thermodynamics. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.